हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज गो क्लासेस वीकली क्विज थ्री डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रोपोजिशनल लॉजिक इफ एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री आर प्रोपोजिशनल फॉर्मूला दिस आर प्रोपोजिशनल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर सेम सेट ऑफ प्रोपोजिशनल वेरिएबल्स सो रिमेंबर दिस आर फॉर्मूला दिस आर फॉर्मूला ओवर सेम सेट ऑफ प्रोपोजिशनल वेरिएबल सच दैट एफ वन इम्प्लाइज एफ टू इज फॉल्सिफाइबल एफ वन इम्प्लाइज एफ थ्री इज टोटोलॉजी एफ थ्री इम्प्लाइज एफ वन इज इनवेलिड so first of all let me tell you what is falsifiable so you know what is a falsifiable falsifiable means i can say falsifiable means which which can be which can be made false basically falsifiable is another word for not tautology this is another word for not tautology or i can say this is another word for invalid okay so this falsifiable means you can make it false you can make it false okay at least one at least one case at least one row in the truth table you can make it false so falsifiable at least one row in the truth table okay you can make it false so falsifiable means basically no tautology or i can say no tautology means basically not valid okay so this is another word for invalid in valid means tautology this you already know in propositional logic in propositional logic valid basically means tautology okay and invalid means not tautology so falsifiable means not tautology means at least one time false so i can say that falsifiable what this basically means this means at least one row this is false at least one time false in at least one row it is false okay so the question is saying that you have three formula f1 f2 f3 f1 f2 f3 so you have total three formula and over some propositional variables i don't know what are those propositional variables like p q or something i don't know okay so we don't know like it does not matter what are the propositional variable it does not matter if there are six propositional variable then there will be two power six rows okay so this f1 f2 f3 these are proposition formula over some propositional variable these are the propositional variable if we have seven propositional variable then there will be two power seven rows anyway it does not matter so this these are the propositional formula the question is saying f1 implies f2 is a falsifiable f1 implies f2 this is falsifiable this is falsifiable what it means what it means falsifiable what it means it means in at least one row it is false in at least one row there is at least there is at least one row in which it is false there is at least one row in which it is, in which it is false next f1 implies f3 is tautology F one implies F three. This is a tautology. Tautology means true, 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 and so on. Okay, so this is tautology. Next, F three implies F one is invalid. F three implies F one. That is invalid. Invalid basically means falsifiable. Again, F three implies F one. That is invalid. Invalid means falsifiable. Invalid means not tautology. So I can say. that this is also falsifiable falsifiable means at least one time false at least one time false maybe okay maybe here it is false we don't know what is here we don't know what is here so anyway this is the information we have means we know that all are these all are true we know this is falsifiable so at least one time false for example for this row it is false so i can say that this is a falsifiable at least one time false we know this is invalid invalid means not a tautology it means a falsifiable so this is also falsifiable so in at least one row this is also false in at least one row this is also false now what can you say now which of the following is necessarily false which of the following must be necessarily false the question is asking necessarily false now let's check out option a so what can you check option a let's check option a hmm so let's check option a option a is saying that f2 is a tautology so is it necessarily false like f2 okay is can f2 be tautology if we can make if we can make f2 tautology if we can do that then we can say it is not necessarily false the question is asking necessarily false means which is necessarily false means basically which is always false which is always false so this is okay which is necessarily false so let's see whether f2 can be tautology or not let's check so can i make f2 a tautology let us say can i make it a tautology no see if i make f2 a tautology then automatically this will be a tautology 
I can say that if F2 is total logy, if this F2 is total logy, then automatically what will happen? Automatically what will happen? This also will be total logy because F2 is total logy. So automatically this will be total logy, total logy. This will be total logy, total logy. So this is a this okay. But so I can say that this should not happen because remember the question is saying that F1 implies F2 is a falsifiable. The question is saying that F1 implies F2 is not a total logy. So option A is necessarily false. I can say this is necessarily false. F2 tautology, this is necessarily false. It can never happen basically. F2 tautology can never happen. So it is necessarily false. What about F3? Okay. Uh, what about option? Option B. Let's check option B. So let me check option B. What option B is saying? F3 is tautology. Can you make F3 tautology? F3 tautology. Let's let's say let's see whether we can make it tautology or not. Let's see. So can you make F3 tautology? If I make F3 tautology, then what then what will happen? I'm making F3 tautology. If F3 is tautology, then definitely this should be tautology, and that is fine. And that is fine, right? So this is fine. Okay. So if F3 is tautology, then this will be tautology. That is fine. Very good. There is no problem. Okay. Next. Next. So F3 is tautology. So because F3 is tautology, so F3 implies F1. This should, we know that this should be false. If this should be false, okay. So if this should be false, then definitely what should happen? Then definitely here F3 is true. Remember F3 is true and F3 implies F1 should be false. So here F1 must be false. Okay. For this row, I can say for this row, F1 must be false. Definitely it must be false. Okay. What else now? Now what else? So if F1 is false, now you can notice that. So what about F1 uh, implies, what about F1 implies F2? So this will be true. This will be true. But there is no problem here. There is no problem here. So I can say that it is possible that option B is correct. We can make option B like we can make F, F3 tautology. We can make it right. Okay. If F3 is tautology, then we can, we can just make it. So, okay, uh, all the conditions are satisfied. The question is saying that this is falsifiable, this is tautology and this is falsifiable. So you can notice after making F3 tautology, we can satisfy all the conditions. So F3 may be tautology, there is no problem. For example, for example, if you take F1, F2, both are false. Okay, then in that case, you can very easily notice that uh, here F1, F2, both are if, if you take false, then here. Okay, so this will be false. There is no problem. So uh, here also there is no problem, and uh, you can notice. Okay, so what what about here? So this F one implies F two. That must be false. So this you can take true or false. Okay, so there is no problem. Basically, this is not necessarily false. Basically, this is not necessarily false. Remember, this is possible. I can say, I can say this is a possible. I can say this is never possible. I can say, I can say this is never possible. This. Uh, this option one option one is never possible but option two is possible and what about option three option three is saying f1 is a contingency option three is saying f f3 f, f1 is contingency let's check can you make f1 contingency let us check that option c f1 contingency okay so can we make f1 contingency contingency means somewhere it is true somewhere it is false okay so f1 is contingency means somewhere it is true somewhere it is false so can you make it like for example definitely here it should be okay false because remember f1 implies f3 that is a uh, that is tautology so definitely it should be false here okay so i can make it true true and what else so for example this also must be false so what i can do here i can i, I can make it uh, false and here what we can do here we can make it true so again all the conditions we can satisfy very easily we can satisfy all the conditions so option c is also possible i can say this is also possible this is also possible and what about f1 and f3 is contradiction can you make f3 f f3 f1 contradiction let us check option d let us check option d option d is saying f1 f3 is contradiction f1 f3 Okay, so this is F1, F3. This is contradiction. Contradiction means, contradiction means in every row, okay, like it is not possible that you have true, true. It is not possible that you have true, true. 
at least one of them must be false at least one of them must be false now at least one of them must be false but f1 implies f3 must be true so this you cannot keep this you cannot keep so either ff or ft either ff or ft okay so here what will happen either ff or ft so just okay just just focus on these so in this row what will happen in this row definitely i can say that f1 must be true and f2 must be false and this is fine this is a fine because here uh, i can say that you <coughs> f1 f2 we want okay contradiction so but we the question is f1 f2 we want contradiction so actually here you can notice that we want f1 f3 as a contradiction so this is what we want as a contradiction means f1 f3 this would be contradiction so what it means it means that f1 f3 okay for every row at least one of them must be false for every row at least one of them must be false maybe ff maybe tf maybe ft okay at least one of them must be false but there is one more condition what is that f1 implies f3 must be true f1 implies f3 must be true remember f1 implies f3 that must be true 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 so we can say that this is not possible like f1 is true f3 is uh, false that is not possible so i can say that okay this would be contradiction and this would be tautology so i can say what are the choices for f1 f3 we have false false or i can say false true these are the two choices possible in every row false false or false true okay so false false or false true now now you can notice here f1 implies f2 is false it means f1 must be true and it means f2 must be false okay so there is no problem because if f1 is true then now if f but remember but remember there is one thing that only this is possible f1 f3 only these two choices are possible for any row i can definitely say that f1 must be false f1 must be false okay so whatever row you take uh, so basically f1 must be false i can say f1 must be false but if you put f1 must be false if you put it false then then you can notice this will be true so this is not possible so option d is not possible the question is very simple let me tell you the question is saying that this should be contradiction it means f1 and f3 that must be false 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 okay and the question is saying that this should be tautology so this should be true 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 now what can you say about f1 f3 what can you say you can say that because we want uh, false in any row whatever row you take okay f1 f3 and f1 implies f3 so what do we want in any row what we want just think about it in any row what we want we want true here and we want false here so what can you say about f1 f2 what can you say about f1 f2 in this row in this row i can say that because we want false here so okay at least one of them must be false and we want a true here so it means that this you cannot have this you cannot have okay so at least one of them must be false but this you cannot have so either you can have this false false or you can have false true okay so but any case whatever you do whatever you do whatever you do f1 must be false so i can say that f1 must be false but if you make f1 as false if you make it as false then this f1 implies f2 this will be tautology but the question is saying that this is falsifiable so i can say option d is not possible i can say this is not possible option d is not possible so the answer will be the question is saying necessarily false necessarily false means always false always false means never possible never possible so i can say answer will be option 1 and a and d so for this question for this question answer will be answer will be actually a and d okay